Department of Distress call. This is Officer Keenan, Light Pod 19. The captain is gone. I have assumed command. The last thing the captain did was give me coordinates for dry land. We regroup one and a half kilometers southwest of the crash site. Stay together and good luck. This message will now repeat. Rendezvous coordinates corrupted. Transmission origin coordinates downloaded. Signal location uploaded to PDA. PDA data. Emergency. Starvation imminent. Seek calorie intake immediately. Welcome aboard, Captain. Vital signs stabilizing. Discovered 30 seconds.
crossing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Passing 100 meters, oxygen efficiency decreased.
Sunbeam? You know Aurora. We're from a little transgov on the far side of Andromeda, and we have a saying there. There's no bad without the good, no good without the bad. Sounds like you tasted a bunch of the former, but that only means you're overdue a whole lot of the latter. Might just be we're in. We're scanning for somewhere to park. We'll be in touch when we find it. Sunbeam out. Emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. The Seamoth is a fast, safe mode of transport, but remember that swimming is good for your glutes and endorphin levels.
Warning, maximum depth reached, hull damage imminent. Passing 100 meters, oxygen efficiency decreased. Passing 200 meters, oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Location uploaded to PDA. 30 seconds. Integrating new PDA data. New blueprint acquired. Integrating new PDA data. Light pod detached okay, plan has fallen 30 seconds. The computer has identified a landmass at the attached coordinates. I want you to regroup the crew there. Understood, but they are your responsibility now. Don't let them down. Captain, you need to evacuate. Negative. You'll need the ship in one piece if you're going to contact HQ on the long range. I'm attempting a controlled descent. PDA data. We have to board the Aurora, repair the long-range comms, make contact with the other survivors. We can't be the only two that made it. Those are not the orders the captain gave me, and they are not the orders I'm giving you. This isn't chain of command, it's survival. My obligations as acting commander don't turn on their convenience. Get out of the water. If I get into trouble, I'll send you my coordinates. I can't let you go alone. Then come with me. You don't leave me much choice. Received emergency transmission from 2nd Officer Keen, two hours after last activity. Rendezvous was a failure. Intercepted a transmission from Altera HQ, seems they sent a data package to the Aurora. We were intercepted by a Leviathan-class predator before we could reach the ship. Consider the CTO and I lost at sea. Be safe. Keen, out. Picking up multiple energy signatures on the island's surface. Calorie intake recommended. Vital signs stabilizing.
Chief's log, five weeks since the crash. The only other survivors are my son, Bart, and Mida, the cut price mercenary I commissioned for the journey. After days drifting in the life pod, rain hammering on the roof, the weather cleared and we washed up here. I had Mida salvage the Degazi wreck, set Bart to finding us a stable source of food. His education is paying off sooner than I'd anticipated. Our only problem is Mida. She says the weather's going to turn. I say she's finding excuses to risk our lives. I imagine she's not gonna weaken her life without a physical altercation, and she's itching for a fight. In every judgment she makes, things go from bad to worse. If she had my experience, she'd have more faith. Humans have spent millennia specializing in how to shackle nature to our will. <laughs> this planet won't cause us any new problems. My one task now is to keep us alive as comfortably as possible until the insurance company arranges rescue. In this part of space, that could be months or even years. Integrating new PDA data. New blueprint acquired. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Island is a godsend. Look out of the window. No predators. Fresh food. No building materials. Nothing left of the ship. And your <clears> kid <throat> says we're gonna starve without more grow beds. Speak up, kid. Well, it's true, father. The natural growth rates are too slow to keep supporting us. All I'm saying is oceans got us surrounded. No use hiding. Sooner or later, we'll get our feet wet. The rest of your life may have been a fight made up. But I've made my decision. You want to forfeit your emergency pay to take a swim? Go ahead. Believe me, I'm thinking on it. Preparing the day's water ration ahead of... Son, I said wait for the storm to pass. Your life's more valuable to me than a plant patch. You stop being in charge when the ship you were captaining sunk. I'll stop being in charge when you take charge of yourself. Say, Chief. Chief! What? Do you know how to drain those grow beds of 40 tons of stormwater? Or how to conjure food from the air? I know how to prioritize. I'm just saying, if that's so, What's your boy's life worth to you today? If tomorrow you're gonna be so hungry you start wondering what he tastes like, let him go deal with the plants. Son, go deal with the plants. Bart, Torgal has disembarked the habitat. Interfere with my family again, and when rescue arrives, I will leave you here. 
Do you understand me? No rescue coming, Chief. Not in time. And no staying here, neither. This rain keeps falling. Sooner or later, this place will be buried. The only choice we got is whether to get buried with it. You see, Chief, you brought us to this sodden planet. Told us we'd see a lush payday. Now what do we got some six weeks later? A dead crew, a habitat that's half buried, food washed away. I suppose the executive decisions would be better left to someone with your extensive experience of hitting people in the face. I know enough not to take unscheduled detours to uncharted planets. That's something you don't want to learn the hard way. Easy to judge a decision in hindsight. Harder to come up with a plan of your own. Got one already. Take what we can carry and hunker down in a cave somewhere. I scouted a site, a couple hundred meters deep, lots of metal deposits. How do you imagine we'd live? With ready access to building materials, like damn queens, a couple of water filters, a bioreactor, fresh fish. But Chief, we'll eat seaweed salad and drink our own urine if that's what it takes. All that matters is, do you got something better? Send the coordinates to my PDA. I'll review your proposal. New blueprint acquired. What is that thing? I don't know. I found it outside in the sand. Uh, part of another ship? None I've ever seen. It's not even scratched. I, I, don't fool around with it. It might be worth something. Stand down, Chief. If it were going to crumble to dust, it would have done so when I picked it up. It's glowing. We're not the first people to come to this planet. People? Maybe. Could be aliens. Could be the damn sea monsters for all we know. One thing for sure, we ain't gonna find out by staying here. Automated message from Aurora Live Pod 13 coordinates attached. Live Pod is carrying high priority passenger. Yoki Kassar. I said Kassar. Why do I have to record this anyway? Send immediate burial detail. Signal location uploaded to PDA. may be prudent to separate work and leisure spaces to maximize productivity. Treat this space as your home, but never forget that it is not. <laughs> 